Hello there, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's a free website for all things Adobe. In this video, I'll be looking at how to create an animated GIF in Photoshop. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here we are in Photoshop, and you can see I've already set up my document with all the elements I would like for my GIF. I want this GIF for display on Twitter within the timeline. So if I go up to image, and then I come down to image size. We can see that this is 506 pixels by 253 pixels. I've kept the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. Okay, let's cancel that. Now over in the layers, you can see that I've got my background from Adobe Stock, then the main body of text. I've also created a shine layer that I want to animate you should see that the shine layer has a bent arrow signifying that it's clipped to the text below it. So if I move this layer, you'll see what the shine looks like. Next, there's a how to smart object. If I double click this, you can see that it's made of two layers, the text and the rectangle. Back in the main document, I can rotate that as a single object, a smart object. Okay, let's get animating. I'm currently working in my own workspace, so I've got the timeline window down at the bottom. If you don't see it, then head up to Windows and down to Timeline and it should pop up. Next, we want to create a video timeline or a frame animation. Now, I'm used to working in video, so I'll choose Timeline. Then I just click Create. All my layers are now represented in a timeline, all appearing from the start and continue until five seconds. So first things first, I'm going to trim the layers that I'm not interested in. Now, although I can select all the layers in the Layers panel, that doesn't mean that I can trim them all at the same time. I do have to do these individually. So let's trim those up, just move them out of the way for now. By moving the pointer to the end of the timeline, I get this square bracket and arrows pointer. Click and drag to trim them. Now the main text I'd like to fade in at about half a second in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my current time indicator up to where I want it, which is gonna be about 20 frames in. Now I can see where I'm at down here at the bottom left-hand corner, and you can see that I'm 20 frames in. Then what I want to do is I want to open this up. Now down here you can see that I've got an opacity. I'm going to click on the stopwatch there and it's going to add a keyframe. Now that keyframe is opacity at 100%, which means I can go back, so let's say to 10 frames in, and I can reduce the opacity. And when I do that, another keyframe is added. So now I'm going from 0% opacity to 100% opacity. There we go. Now, of course, I don't need that film there. So I'm going to put my current time indicator on that triangle and then just move it across. There we go. OK, next I'm going to deal with the how to. It's a smart object and I want to reveal it. So we're going to have to use a little bit of trickery here. First, let's get it into position. So I think about 28 frames just after that comes in. There we go. And let's trim that down or expand it out so now it's there. Cool. Now I want it hidden there and up to about a second and 10 frames. This is about here. Now I need to wipe that on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a mask. So I'm gonna create an all white mask, which means I'm revealing everything. Then I'm gonna fill it with black. So I'm gonna press D on the keyboard and then press Control or Command and Backspace to fill that with black. Cool. Now, the reason why I've created a white or a reveal all mask and then filled it with black is that now that is a black rectangle on a white mask. If I would have done it as a hide all, it would have been a totally black mask. So 
what I can do now is I can unlink that and I can move the mask to reveal the layer. So let's do that here. So in my how to, I'm going to open that up and you can see that I've got layer mask position. So let's go back to here, right to the beginning and say we're going to animate this. Then let's come up to our time, which I think we said one second and 10 frames. I'm going to move this mask. So with the move tool and the shift key pressed down, I can then click and drag and I should reveal the layer. There we go. Good. So I can scrub along just to make sure that that's working. There we go. Good. Let's close that down. Next, we need the Photoshop logo to appear. And that's going to appear just snap on. So I'll scroll up a little bit and then I can find where my how to finishes. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these triangles here. So if I click on the triangle, you can see that I move from one to another. So now I know that the current time indicator is exactly where that how to has been revealed. So right on that mark, I can then make the Photoshop logo appear. Okay, so with the shine layer, if I open that up, I can now position this. So let's go for maybe two seconds and 11 frames. So let's bring that down two seconds and 11 frames. I missed that by a long way. There we go. And then I can trim that. And I want the shine to move across the words, but not for too long. So maybe just under four seconds. Right, let's go up there. Four seconds. Now that's not four seconds in length, that's four seconds in. So 329, that's fine. And let's trim that down. Goodness. There we go. And we can trim that. Good stuff. Okay. So there we've got the shine. All I've got to do then is go back to the beginning. I can click on position. It's already in the right position over here. Then move to the end. And once again, hold down the shift key while I click and I drag it across. So it's just on its own. There we go. Good. Okay, so now what I need to do is worry about getting rid of everything because I want it to be a continual loop. So I just need the background now. So I'm going to bring these up to seven seconds, which is a good length for an animated GIF. There we go, nearly there. Seven seconds. And I'm going to do them all. And this one. And then this one. And you can see that it's much easier now because they're snapping to the length of each other. Good. Cool. There it is. That's all of them. Oh, one more. Good. So now I need them all to fade out. Well, not the background, of course, but I do need the uh, main text. So I'm going to fade it out from around about six seconds, maybe six and a bit seconds. So six, 12, 13. There we go. So now I'm going to create a new keyframe. Because it's already been keyframed on opacity, I'm going to have to click the diamond to add a keyframe. So that's keyframed at 100%. And then we'll move to the end and we'll say zero. There we go. Now using my arrow keys again, I can click across and then I know that I'm right on there. Let's go to the how to. And now this time the opacity has not been animated before. So I can click on the stopwatch there and then down to the end and say zero. There we go. And then finally, we just need the logo to go as well. Use my arrows, there we go. And then again, it's not been done before. Cool, and then down to zero. Okay, let's play that and uh, see how we get on. There we go. Here comes the shine and then they all fade away. And then it starts again. Good. All right, so now we need to save that as a GIF. Okay, let's go to File and Export. 
and then save for web. Now you'll notice it says legacy here. This is an old way of saving for the web and actually it works well for GIFs. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, you may find save for web on your file menu. Okay, let's go for that. And up comes the dialog box. We're gonna make sure that this says GIF here at the top. And then down the bottom, we can resize this if we want, but we know we've got it exactly the size we want it, so I'm not gonna mess around there at all. And then we have some looping options. Here, I'm gonna say forever. I can play it through, make sure everything's working as I want it to. Here we go. Good. It's just taking a little bit to render. And the shine, and off it goes, good. All right, so all we've got to do then is save. I'm gonna save animated GIF, so let's go for how to give, give, and then let's save that out. There we go, it's as easy as that. Now I can use that on Twitter or on Facebook or anywhere else I like as an animated GIF. I'm Eric Renault, thank you very much for joining me here. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.